outside at the Robin Center. I'm Lane Casadante. This is game two of a doubleheader tonight. In the first game tonight, the Richmond women improved to four and four on the season with a 76-63 win over North Carolina A&T. Joining us now from the women's team is guard Christina King, who is pulling double duty here tonight, by the way. Uh, you played 35 minutes, scored 13 points in the game. We're gonna get to your second job here in a moment, but first I wanna ask you about the mood of the team, and I'm guessing it was uh, a, a nice rebound after the tough news you got earlier this week about losing uh, Genevieve Okoro to a knee injury, but how, how, do you, how do you like the way your team responded tonight? About we've had something to prove and you know now we have somebody like something to prove for somebody you know we all rallied up and we got really hyped and we're all like really excited for her you know still being there still supporting she was all, also a big voice on the bench um, even though she couldn't play but she was still a big part of the team now uh, Lauren Tolson who is a freshman also yes. had 13 points uh, I'm guessing now that you've lost Genevieve there's going to need to be a lot more production from the bench and a lot of people are going to be asked to step up where maybe before they weren't going to be counted on as much. Is that correct? Yes, we all have to step up because Jen was a big rebounder, so that's a big part that's missing right now. So we've all had to pick up a little bit more slack. Um, and, you know, like you said, like the bench has to come up and, you know, step in and uh, produce a bigger role now. So, How does your team deal with adversity like this? Because it seems like every year <laughs> head coach Michael Schaefer is dealing with some sort of season-ending knee injury. Uh, I know the Bilney twins are running around with braces on one or both knees. And now you lose Genevieve, who was really an important presence for you guys inside. That's got to take its toll on your, your overall team morale. I think it does, but in a sense, um, we've all had to be mentally strong, and that was a big thing going into this year was um, how do we combat adversity, and we have to be mentally stronger and you know be able to not only pick up the people that are hurt, but also come together as a team and just rise up to the challenge. We said Christina's pulling double duty tonight, and you probably noticed that She's not wearing a basketball <laughs> uniform, but she does have something around her neck. That is a headset that's yeah. used by the Spider TV crew here because Christina runs one of the basket cams for our Spider TV productions. How did you get involved with this end of the business? Well, I really wanted to get involved in, with the video, you know, public relations department. So I went to the lady that does our public relations um, uh, stuff for our team, Rachel Park. And I was like, hey, is there anything I can do? You know, I'm really interested in doing this. And she was like, yeah, you can come out, do video, do the social media, um, basically just get involved with other sports, you know, meet other people. And so now here I am doing video. Have you ever, had you ever run any kind of camera before? Um, I started in the spring doing baseball, so it was a little bit more slower. But, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is my first, well, this is like my third time doing basketball, but it's a lot of fun. But at being a player, does that give you an insight into how the plays might run and how players might react? Yes, you can kind of feel where the ball's about to go and who's about to score, so it's definitely fun. <laughs> now, do you have any aspirations of being on the other side of the camera, like we are now? Um, I think it could be something near in the future. <laughs> Well, there you go. Maybe you'll have we'll have a chance to see Christina in a role as a player, maybe a commentator. Look out, Greg Beckwith. Somebody may be after your job in a couple of years. Christina, thank you very much for thank being you. with us. Uh, we wish you and the women's team the best of luck, and we'll be following you guys quite a bit. Thank when you. we come back, we'll have scores from around the A-10 and highlights from the first half here as the Spiders lead the tribe by two, 34-32. You're watching Spider TV. We'll be right back.